Okay. Hi everybody, welcome to my second video. Uh, thank you first of all, thank you so much to everybody for liking it and commenting and sharing. I really appreciate it. So due to popular demand, well, my brother doesn't think so, but I think due to popular demand, we are back for a second video. So today, I'll be making prawn pasta. It's very simple, it has a very clean taste. So I won't be using any pasta sauce, but this works, trust me. Okay, <clears throat> so first of all, I'll start with the ingredients. I've got spaghetti. Of course, as always, I've got garlic ginger paste right here. We have some salt, pepper, some crushed red pepper. It's the chili flakes. I think some people, you know, you can get chili flakes right there. Okay, and we've got some prawns right here. So the best thing to do with frozen stuff is to defrost it beforehand. It'll only save you time while you're cooking. So just have an idea. I think I'll leave it for about 30 minutes. Uh, I've left it before, so I think about five more minutes and it should be done. And then, uh, last but not the least, I've got some olive oil. Uh, it's really up to you. It just adds more flavor. But you could only use the butter if you want, or normal, any normal oil. Uh, but so, uh, the one I use is unsalted willow, but you could use any uh, unsalted butter you want. Okay, so um, that's our ingredients done. Let's get cooking. We need to boil some pasta. The best thing to boil is, the best way to boil your pasta is to, um, I, this is what, it helps me a lot, and this is what I always do. I always boil my water in the kettle. So I've got some boiling water right here. So how much water you need really depends on how much pasta you're cooking. So this is about, um, oh, so this is one kg pack. Uh, the amount I'm making today would be just half a pack, or just a bit less than half a pack. So I've got my water in there. It's boiling water. It'll help my pasta cook quick. So I don't have to use cold water. I heat it up first and then let the pasta cook. So the moment I put my pasta in the boiling water, it'll start cooking. Uh, it, it's really good if you put some salt in there first. Uh, but again, because you flavor your dish, so you don't really need to put salt in there. Uh, but this is just if you have it. So I'll just put some salt in my water. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll make it for about two people. So... Yeah. So I think a, a handful of this should be uh, more than enough. So yeah, just a handful. And um, okay, so I'll put this back. I just let the uh, it would you would need about ten minutes for this to cook. And after this is done, the good thing about this dish is it's a one pot. So once you drain the pasta and put it in another bowl. You can use the same pan to, you know, uh, make your um, the the flavoring. Uh, so I'll let this cook for about ten minutes. Put it on high heat. We need everything to be done very quick. Now, I don't know. Hold on. Uh, so guys, uh, I think it's been ten, about eight to ten minutes. So our pasta should be done by now. Um, one way to test is if you just take a single strip. Just take one of these and then, and I think the way you can tell them is it should be quite um, soft and some people also like to taste it, <coughs> eat it and taste it. Um, it seems like it's done. So I'll take this off the heat and then Drain it. So that's the pasta drain. Okay. So what I'll do is use the same pot, the same pan for um, <coughs> making my base. <coughs> so I'll just wipe it dry, wipe it dry, but you don't have to do that, I'll just do it because I like to do it. And then we've got some <coughs> A cube, a knob of butter, not too much, it make it too buttery, just a knob of butter. I got the knob of butter right there. <clears throat> so you just 
just need to now with butter and then a bit of olive oil for the flavor just a bit i think that would be about one or two tablespoons but you could do less it really depends on you so that's that done okay now the main ingredients i've got some garlic ginger paste Going in with my butter and olive oil. Start in the paste, one teaspoon, and then some salt, pepper. Again, this is to taste, but I would say a pinch or maybe. You want to be really careful here. You might want to turn down the heat at this point. And then we've got some salt, pepper. This would be about, um, I think, half a teaspoon. Pepper, half a teaspoon. About half a teaspoon. And then I've got some cut chili peppers. Again, this would be about half a teaspoon. Of course, you could put less if you want less spices. Okay. Try it in the paste. And then finally, I've got my, I'll put my prawns in there once they are defrosted. Make sure the prawns are properly defrosted all the way through. You don't want to get use them while they're still frozen. Okay. Just strain these. And I've got my prawns in there. Okay, at this point, I'll let the prawns cook. Uh, we all, I think uh, it doesn't take long for the prawns to cook for about, um, just put it on high heat for about five, 10 minutes, five to eight minutes. Uh, you'll know your prawns are cooked once they've turned pink. Put it in the pasta, just mix it in with the prawns. Okay, so I'm not going to use all of it because I think I boiled more than what was required. <clears throat> what you can always do is keep the leftover pasta for another day. You can get some, uh, the best thing would be to get some ready-made sauce from any of the supermarket. And you could flavor it yourself, put it in a pan, warm it up, put some more chili, salt, pepper, whatever you want. Uh, it's also a good idea to always add a bit of cream cheese in your in the sauce that you buy from the supermarket. It adds more flavor to that. So I've got my pasta and prawns cooking right here. Just mix them together so the flavors incorporate. I can see they're going to be a bit flavorful. Um, it smells really good. I think even my cameraman agrees. <laughs> okay, so the pasta is now done. It's ready. You don't need to do anything else. Just plate it up. Uh, but uh, however, there's one more ingredient you could put. Uh, some people like cheese, but most people like cheese. Uh, I love cheese. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take one heap teaspoon of cream, uh, garlic and herb cream cheese. And just put it in. Swirl it in.
take it away and then plate up. Okay, we're just gonna plate it up right here. That's our prawn, I would like to call it a chili prawn pasta. Okay, okay so I'm just gonna take a bite. Just taste it for myself. and the chili pepper thank you so much for watching and if anybody has suggestions for the next video please do comment and remember to like and subscribe to my